Hey, pe hey people, it's Spine here, back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how and uh, how a couple of efficient ways to make a lot of money in Skyblock Minions. When you're just starting off, you can make an easy million dollars your first day of playing, which will give you enough money to buy a minion and possibly a spawner or two, depending on how hard you try at this. So uh, our first way of... Uh, making a stable income every day is voting. Voting will get you a vote key. The vote keys for every single vote link you click, which will allow you to open this and you can get spawners, money, diamonds, other keys, and XP and shulker boxes, which are completely useless. You don't need shulker boxes. You can just go farm them at somebody's farm. Um, so what to do, you do to vote is you, um, type in slash vote and some links will pop up. You just go to those links, type in your username exactly. Make sure it's exact. If it's not exact, then you won't get the uh, the votes. And then what you want to do is once you've done finish voting, you want to re-log and it will give you your um, player points. And you can, player points are worth $100,000 each on this server. Um, you only start off with 10, so 100,000 is a lot. That's how much a minion costs. So you, you'd be set if you just vote for a bit. And then you get to spin as well. Um, another decent way to make money is uh, using the minions to farm. So let's go to our island. I have chat turned off. So let's go to our island. And uh, an easy way to get a lot of money is just to use the minions and farm off of them for a bit. Though you'll only start with one. I have a bit more than that. I have quite a few currently. They're not all here. But then what you can do is you can link them to the chests and have the chests be connected to dispensers, which then dispense all the materials out. And then they go into the lovely sorters here. Um, sorters are pretty simple to make. Um, a lot of people don't know how to make them. Redstone torch on a block, and then lower you have a repeater facing this way on zero ticks. Then you have redstone going up here and a comparator facing this direction with a hopper connected to the comparator with the item you want in it, you want to get sorted, and then just a miscellaneous item that won't be put into those hoppers ever, and it will sort. But hoppers are on 10 tick speed, so... They're a bit glitchy, they have broken, it's perfectly fine. Um, what you can do, some people have their uh, Minions Farms player shop, like me, and the, I only charge 2500 for half a chest full of cobblestone. So if you get a half a chest full of cobblestone, you'll go from 10k, you'll spend, you'll spend uh, 2500 and you'll be left with 7500k. But after that, you'll end up with 2200 And you can do that as much as you want until you get a large sum of money. Another thing you can do with minions, a lot of the larger islands do like to buy diamonds and emerald blocks. They'll pay 250k a stack for emerald blocks and $300,000 uh, per stack of diamond blocks. And that's pretty decent if you want to get money that way. Our next way is a typical mob farm, though I don't have one here that's currently operational. Um, uh, I do, actually. I do. At my warp, you can just go back here. I've never messed with this in such a long time. Um, a mob farm... This one's public. Some will be player shops. You can make them on your own island. They're not hard to make. You just need water and uh, something to kill the mobs. For example, a magma block would kill them or a lava block, depending on how you want to kill them and how much resources you actually want from them. Um, these ones, is it's a dropper formation, so they just float up and then they'll come over and drop down. And you can see they'll go all the way up there, drop down, and then it'll just get filtered into this and it'll all come out. Pretty, it takes a while to make money from these if you don't have many spawners. Um, I, I would suggest doing skeleton, but not in here. You want to do skeleton in the nether. 
because in the nether you can get a lot more. You also get wither skeletons that spawn and the wither skeletons can give you a lot of money from their skulls. Of course you'll need a looting three sword. You can ask around. A lot of people sell looting three. Um, I sell my skulls for 20,000 each approximately which allows other people to sell them for more money just so that they can uh, farm. Each one of these skulls yeah, is worth about $2,500 to $30,000. I sell them in sets of three for um, for $80,000. Um, let's bring my alt over here and mine this door right here. Now these farms are a bit more complex if you want to mass produce them. Um, but they do profit a lot. You'll need a lot of magma. This is a lot of money worth of magma, but there's also a lot of spawners here. And for an exceptional wither skeleton farm, I would say five spawners are exceptional, which would cost you around six to seven million dollars, which is achievable in a couple of days. It's not a huge deal. It's not that much money. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can just kill these guys and get their skulls. I, I highly suggest looting three. If you come in here with a stone sword, it's not it's not great. Um, yes, so it's a, it's a really good way to make money. And then on top of that, you get all the bones and uh, you get all the bones and then they'll get filtered through here. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of minecarts that just go back and forth. Minecarts do get pretty glitchy when you put them in more than uh, more than one on the same track. But uh, other than that, they work pretty good. And then they go into here and over top of the sorters because water doesn't work in the nether, which sucks because I would love to have water sorters. They'd go so much faster. And then it'll all get put into here. Another decent way to play or shop is just by buying these. It, it costs 8000 that's what I charge, but you sell for 25000 each half a chest. So I can do this one twice, but somebody else was here earlier and bought most of it already. So that that's 50000 right there. I could go through all of this and make an easy $400,000. Uh, the next we have is the Iron Golem Farms. I'm not a huge fan of these. It costs so much to get a single spawner. 25 million to 90 million to get a spawner. It's crazy. But uh, iron's a pretty decent resource. I use it in a lot of hoppers. And I have a lot of hoppers. And the sorters are currently broken because I told you they glitch out. Um, half a chest of iron will give you around a hundred thousand or around Seventy to ninety thousand dollars, depending on the player shop you're in. Mine's not set up currently, cause uh, I'm trying to get the money for one reason or another. Cause I don't know why I need more money. I have plenty. Um, I would suggest voting. That's the probably going to be the best way to get your start of money. But you can only vote once a day, so after that you need to find some player shops. The next way. To make a ton of money is cactus farming. Easy way to make money, of course, there's a ton of different cactus designs you can use. This one's the string design. Um, not the best, not the worst. It makes a decent amount of cactus, but it also loses a lot of cactus. Um, I have one of the biggest cactus farms on the server, and uh, it makes a lot of money. It makes around $48,000 every minute. It's crazy. And, uh, yeah, you can just see how much amounts here. Look at, we're already at two, two and a half stacks already. Three, three stacks. Yippee. And, uh, yeah, I have a pretty big farm. And we're working on a new one that's supposed to be better, supposed to be better. And, uh, yep. So you just have to ask around, buy spawners. Um, 
Yeah, a couple of spawners isn't going to really give you that much. You need a lot of spawners to get a decent amount of money from them. So, of course, you can set up your farm, but uh, just remember that uh, there's other ways to make easier money, like cactus farming. Um, of course, it'll start off slow because sand is pretty in expensive and you can only buy it from the shop. But... Um, it, it's still pretty profitable. Um, it just takes AFK time, which uh, not many people got Zeus, and they can't AFK all the time. But um, And you could always ask around, too. Some people have projects like building a cactus farm for them. They'll pay you millions to, to help, help build. You got to watch out, though. People will try and scam you when you're trying to exchange player points and help other people. You got to be careful. And, uh, yeah, cactus farms are pretty cool. Minions, those are pretty profitable, um, especially since, uh, well, you do need to upgrade your generator. Um, I never did look and see how much it was to completely upgrade your generator. It cost $2 million. It looks like they changed the prices. It costs quite a bit to get all your upgrades in. Uh, it looks like around 40 million, so that, that'd take a couple of weeks to actually fulfill, but it works, because then you start getting the diamonds, and once you get the diamonds, then you can sell them to other people. And uh, villager, villager farming, I didn't go over that one yet. Villager farming is pretty decent too. Um, so a lot of people do use enchantments in PvP, and, uh, they gotta, they gotta get those enchantments from somewhere. So you can get a villager spawner for around 5 to 10 million. Um, I have a couple somewhere, I don't know where they are. Oh, some of my island members must have them. And, uh, you can get all types of, you can just start farming these guys up and get tons of different enchantments, and my friend made a nice number list here that's got everything listed and where it is you got four we got everything pretty much um protection five or no protection doesn't come in five is four is max i'm pretty sure um then you got magma spawners those are those are i mean not that many people buy magma too often it's just every now and then when they want to build a farm in the nether or just have an extra block to place to uh burn mobs Oh, what other types of player shops are there? Oh, you can sell the vote party crates. I buy those um, for 7k each. I'll probably up that to 10 soon. And uh, you could do redstone shop. I attempted to. I could never keep it fully stocked because there's just so many different uh, materials that are needed to make everything. Um, other types of farms you can do, which you can do pretty much anything. Um, I've never tried a pigman farm yet. I'm going to try that in a couple of weeks. I want to see how that turns out. I know ghasts are pretty decent, actually, because I use them to make potions in my potion maker, which is down there. And uh, there's just a ton of these sorter things all over my map. I need to get rid of them. Uh, other people, yeah, they'll have projects for you. You can help them out. Don't beg. Begging will lead you to get muted or banned. It's not a good idea to beg for stuff. Just ask if there's work. Or go ask if there's a pea shop. There's tons of player shops all over the map. And uh, you can just ask what their warp is. My next video will probably be a huge time lapse of me and uh, my island members building this massive thing up. Because... Uh, People are starting to compete against me, and I'm not happy about that, so I'm going to start building this thing up a lot. It's going to be great. But I hope all you guys enjoyed watching and learning how to make a decent amount of money in Skyblock. Um, currently, my favorite farm is the Wither Skeleton Farm. It's the most effective way. I make over a million dollars every 15 minutes of skulls, and all I have to do is sit there and kill them. It's crazy how much money that makes. But then again, I do have a lot of spawners for Wither Skeletons, so um, it, it does 
uh, bring a plus side. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and please smash the like button and subscribe. Consider subscribing and uh, leave a comment if you want.